What is going on guys? Welcome to a series of tutorial videos. This is going to be my first video in the series guys. Um, as you know with No Face TV, I will never expose my face, so that's why we're not going to have a camera up. But today I'm going to be going over the tutorial on how to install the very amazing free, 100% free, midget menu. Now, as I just said, this menu is 100% free. It's a great menu. Um, first things first, you're going to want to head over to my Discord, um, No Face Money. Head over there. In there, you're going to, if you don't have a link to the Discord, um, check the description of the video. There is a link to the Discord in there. Once you're in the Discord, you'll have to go through a verification process. Um, simply go to the verification channel, react to the bot, and that'll go ahead and open you up a new channel and then just leave your social club ID here just like that and then I will get you the verified role and get you added as a friend on GTA 5 so you can get invited to my money lobbies as well um, anywho once you're verified guys that's gonna go ahead and unlock the free menus category along with the midget channel in the midget channel I'm strongly gonna suggest that you uh, join his discords um, you'll have to join his menu discord anyways, but right here is what we're looking for the HTTPS uh, link to net 89980 midget. So we're going to go ahead and click on this and it's going to take us to a link for ties page. So you have to follow all these steps. It seems a little shady guys, but I promise you 100% it is not shady at all. So they want you to add this onto the Chrome. So we'll add look box onto Chrome add extension done now what we're gonna do right away is we're gonna go up here and we're gonna go to is it settings it is not settings um more tools extensions and then we're gonna remove the lock box or look box and then we have discover interesting articles so we just gotta sit on this page for about one minute um, we don't even have to read anything We'll just watch this little circle over here, and once it goes to an arrow, we are good to go. Insert Jeopardy music here. All right, and then finally, we just have to watch this minute to unlock video. We'll go ahead and mute it. That way, you guys ain't got to um, watch through it, and then I'll cut this out, obviously, so... All right, so you're done watching the video. Great. Next thing, click continue. And uh, just wait for this little countdown timer right here. And direct access to midget menu. This is going to bring us to this page right here. We have to go to his YouTube page. Close it out. If it opens up a tab like that, make sure it loads up the YouTube page. Subscribe to his YouTube page. As you can see, I'm already subscribed. And uh, make sure you don't click on anything like that. And then join my Discord is going to send you to this page. Continue to join his menu Discord, as you can see here. There we go. And there we are. I'm already in it. All right, then we proceed to target site, guys. It's going to take us to this mega link. Come on. 
Alright, once we get the Mega Link downloaded, we're going to go ahead and click Download. That's going to start downloading up here at the top if you're using Chrome. I don't know if it's different for any other browsers. Alright, now you can see down here it says Midget V1.0 V Zip is dangerous, so Chrome has blocked it. Do not do anything yet. Guys, every single virus or every single threat protection on any PC is going to tell you that this is a virus, and it's because of the way it mods the game. It basically uses the same um how do you say the same method a trojan virus uses to you know get into your computer to get the gta 5 files but i promise you guys 100 percent without a doubt is actually virus free so without even don't even mess with that yet what we're going to do is we're going to go down here into our little search bar and we're going to type in virus and right there virus and threat protection is going to pop up all right we're going to go in here to virus and threat protection and we're going to go to manage settings and we're going to want to turn our real-time protection off. Click yes on the uh, window that pops up. And then as you can see here, it'll, you'll confirm it as real-time protection is now off, leaving your vi device vulnerable. All right, now we're going to go back to Chrome. We're going to keep this dangerous file. You might have to go to your download page keep anyways then we're gonna go ahead and show it in the folder guys make sure you guys have WinRAR if you guys are trying to get into this I'm obviously assuming that you have some sort of experience with unpacking files so anywho we're just gonna go ahead and drag this let me move this one to the recycle bin there we go we're gonna go ahead and drag this midget 1.0 to our desktop you see we got our little folder there so we can go ahead and close out of that WinRAR now first thing we're gonna go open this up and you see this folder right here, it says Midget Files. And this one right here, put the Midget Files in here. And then we got Xeno64 Midget V1.0.dll for YouTubers how to install. Okay, so we're going to take these Midget Files and we're going to drag them and move them into the Put the Midget Files Here folder. And then I have to replace it because I've obviously installed it already, but you probably won't have to. Alright, next thing's next you want to go back into your virus and threat protection now that you have this on and you want to scroll down to add or remove exclusions and you're going to want to click on add an exclusion folder and then navigate to your desktop and the midget 1.0 folder click yes on the security window that pops up as you can see I already have one right here so then we can go back and we are okay to turn on our real-time protection once again now that there's an exclusion added for the menu. So go ahead and launch the Xeno64. Um, Xeno64 is your injector tool. This is what you use to launch the menu. It's pretty simple, pretty straightforward. All you need to do is take this .dll, the midget v1.0.dll, and drag it into the white space of this just like that pretty simple all right now that we got that done we can close out this folder just leave this uh right here and we can go ahead and launch our grand theft auto guys i might have to sign into epic i actually paid for grand theft auto but i connected my game once using epic and uh now i have to use epic every single time Kind of disappointing, but it's okay. Anyways, go through the startup process of launching your Grand Theft Auto. Um, as we can see, it's getting ready to launch right now. So, um, Once we get into the game, there's a couple of settings we have to change. You'll have to restart your game for these settings to take effect. Um, and then we'll be good to inject the menu. And I'll show you guys how to uh, do some stuff with the menu as well. my Rockstar ever decides to load here. There we go, guys. We'll let this load up here. I'll cut some of this stuff out, so...
All right, once you get to this screen, guys, you're going to want to go down to the settings here. This is very important, so you cannot skip this step. Once it's settings, you want to go to graphics. You want to take your DirectX version and change it to DirectX 10. Make sure that is on DirectX 10. If it is not, the mod menu will not work. Go ahead and change it to windowed borderless as well. That way it makes it easier for you to inject the menu. Once you do that, go ahead and restart your game, relaunch it, and I will meet you back right here. All right, so you got your settings changed. We're going to go ahead and uh, go into story mode now. If you do not have it in DirectX 10 and windowed borderless at this point, pause the video, go put on DirectX 10, windowed borderless mode, come back to the video, and be ready to go. Um, you always have to launch and inject the menu into story mode, guys. Do not launch directly online and then try to inject the menu. Um, I don't know what will happen. I'm assuming it probably either won't work or you'll receive a ban. Um, so just, you know, follow this step for step. It's pretty simple, straightforward to do. All right, so now that we're in the game, we're going to want to press Alt-Tab on our keyboard to bring up this menu and select the injector. So as you can see, we got our injector here on the screen. We're going to go to Process. Make sure this is selected on Existing. We're going to go to Process. We're going to scroll down to gta5.exe, and it's going to have a bunch of numbers after it. And then we're going to want to inject that menu. And you say it said injecting, and then it went back to idle. Here in the game, we got injected DLL. Errors found one. That's okay with midget menus. Sometimes there's one error found, and it doesn't affect anything. And as you can tell, we got the sound that the menu is ready and the message that the menu is ready. So in order to bring up the menu, guys, you're going to want to press the star on your number pad. You can use either your 5... To select stuff, backspace to go back, 8 and 2 to go up and down, 4 and 6 to go left and right. Um, but we got some pretty basic options here, guys. We got health, um, you know, god mode, wardrobe, models, movement. Uh, we got our online money drop options and our uh, online ESP, online remotes, protections, vehicle spawns. I mean, it's a pretty good money. We got recovery options, not the best recovery options, but they're still pretty good recovery options. You know, you can set your level, um, which is pretty nice. You can edit your stats. As far as money options go, the only way to uh, get money out of this menu in mass amounts is going to be your vehicle sales. So I can spawn in a ruiner. Now I can go sell this vehicle for $80,000. On top of that, um, you can reset the timer for how often you can sell the vehicles as well, which makes it super nifty. Um, let's see, what else can I tell you guys real quick? Anytime the game crashes, you guys will get crashes and stuff if you're modding. It's gonna happen. There's no, you'll have to mess around with the menu and find out what, uh, you know, what's working for you and what isn't. So, uh, anywho, anytime you guys, uh, relaunch the game make sure you go in and select a new process on uh, the injector because uh, if you don't it's not gonna work so just select the new process as an injector and you should be good to go guys but anywho that's gonna end the video right here if you guys have any questions make sure you're in the discord make sure you sub to the YouTube page um, I will try to answer any questions you guys have. I try to be pretty responsive on questions and all that. Make sure you guys try to get into some of my money drop lobbies and check out the other awesome content on the page, guys. But until my next tutorial video, I will see you guys later, and thanks for tuning in.